There's a look at one of the squads we'll be seeing today. I mean, I played in the main stage once. Did you? UMG Dallas. That's right. I the remember pink that. pink wall versus uh, Caster's matchup. Caster's won. You did. Kind of went off. Benson and you were absolutely going off. Oh, Chance. I was screaming. Chance always brings up. I he went screaming. double negative, and he's never lived it down up to this point. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chance went double negative in the <laughs> uplink. It was, uh, you know, not too surprising Brutal. as Chance sometimes forgets how to play Call of Duty, but oh. we still love him, even though at, at times he does struggle. I was sweating profusely in the booth. Um, got really way too into it at times. Was screaming. Uh, T. Martin ran out and made some gestures towards me once I uh, <laughs> kind of got ninja by him at one point. But always fun playing with those guys. And the UMG venue, man, it's it's everyone just has a great time. A lot of people who have teams of players online yeah. for years finally get to meet each other. A lot of new friends get made. Always one of the most exciting parts of these open events. And then. What's kind of cool is we get to see how the open bracket develops, right? Oh, yeah. And then it leads into that championship bracket so filled with so many great teams. Obviously, all the CWL squads making it out here this weekend. Now, I got the opportunity to ask Revan. Yeah. In your mind, though, who are the favorites coming to this one? Who do you think takes, takes this weekend home? Uh, I mean, the overall team or the yeah, overall tournament? championship bracket, everything. I mean, you got to be looking at like Opti Gaming, Phase, and I mean, those are the kind of typical ones. But yeah. I, want, I think one team that's kind of going to surprise a lot of a lot of people coming to this event is obviously going to be Envious. I mean, had a fantastic run up to this point and have looked to like. I mean, I know they've lost to both Phase and Optic, but they look so strong, especially Definitely. as of late. I think uh, there was a stat that came out that said in the last five series they went 15 and one. Which is absolutely absurd to me. Pretty like, good. Yeah, that's fantastic. To Pre be pretty good map count in a tournament that first place spot in the COD World League. We'll see what they're able to do today. But right now, we have Wise Gaming up against Broken Alliance. Let's see how these teams play it. Off the start, we're watching DJAX with the VMP. He's going to rush right towards bottom middle. Yeah, one thing to kind of point out as well is obviously the breach rotation is kind of changing it up a little bit. Palace going to be now that third rotation as we do hop into this game. It's going to be, it looks like Broken Alliance getting a little bit of a nice start here off the break. And you got to always got to keep in mind those rotations. I know we're obviously just hopping into the game, but rotation so key. And a lot of the time can lead to you, I mean, I think there was like a, a stat that came out where people kind of asking and saying, you know, would you rather have a 20 second lead or rather have that rotation? I think it's always important to kind of be on that rotation constantly. Oh, definitely. And you can still see the Broken Alliance players spawning up near that back satellite area. Early contests coming in from Wise as they try to continue to inch back in this game. So far, we've already seen, you know, the EMPs come into play. A lot of these guys electing to use the likes of Guardians and Sentry Turrets, which are so good at holding down lanes for your team, either blocking a doorway. Typically, you want to see a player run a trophy system to help make sure they right. can't be destroyed by those EMPs. But we'll see in this matchup who can wind up earning those score streaks off the start. It's been a pretty even match between these two teams. Slang, pretty even between these squads as Jitter just destroys Plesia there. And the rotation will come in towards Electrical. BP, which I'll probably wind up calling him BP for the rest of this <laughs> matchup, is now in control of top lap. We were talking about his, we were talking about his gamer tag before, you know, before the match even started. We were kind of curious how he was going to do, especially with a gamer tag like that. But yeah. it is his current team up by a good portion up to this point, Magsy. On that rotation, obviously, you got to keep in mind, you know, having that spawn over near ACs is going to be very key for holding down a lot of this Ooh. time. And he's getting even closer to that heat wave, trying to heat up here as well. He's going to get ready to get an engagement. He's able to drop him as well. Now, right there, Broken Alliance, they're still to the hard point. Wise had the spawns. They also got through the middle wall run area. But the pinch that came in from the back of the map was too delayed. Their players who came from wall one had to look in two different directions. They needed Magsy to kind of push towards, or not Magsy, sorry. They needed their player in the back of the map. I think it was Mystic to push up a little bit quicker to help with that pinch. Instead, though, it's Broken Alliance beginning to run away with this one as they've earned themselves a 50-second lead, and now the rotation will come in. you got to love to see the decision by Broken Alliance to you know, not try to force those last 10 seconds. They get towards bottom lobby area, and you can see the trades going down. Magsy trying to get towards the hard point. He's getting shot in the back and almost gives the player the yup DZ. That was Rays of Gamma there that winds up getting the kill. Broken Alliance. Not able to get control, and it's Wise Gaming continuing to inch back into this game. And every time we've seen Wise get control, it's usually oh, that the last wave. No. scrap time. And it looks like they are oh. going to be on the early rotation here over inside of Palace. And Major Time is obviously trying to control both of those, or three of those entry points as well. Got to keep that in mind. Wise are trying to bring this one back. Big kill coming out of D. Jax, as he's locking this one down, wow. Wise just trying to inch their way back second by second. And it's going to be up to Raise of Gamma to control this one down. Active Camo. Going to be coming to use off of that next spawn, but still, it is Broken Alliance who do have the lead. Now, this is something to point out. Broken Alliance actually have some great specialists ready to go. They have two that can really help you break a hard point, and they're about to earn the Purifier as well for bottom green. These are three very effective specialists for this hill. You wind up having the likes of Active Camo. You could pop that one, get basically a free challenge and gunfight victory on the player sitting in the hard point. They've also got Kinetic Armor, which we've seen the likes of, obviously, Optic Skump as well as apathy used to help break those hard points in 
this game mode, but the final one, and there's an example of it right there as it gets used, they get an easy break. Broken Alliance back in control of the game. They're still up by 40. They are indeed. Broken Alliance trying to hold this one down. We did see them kind of push, uh, you know, back through big door spawn, which Ooh. is a big play. Obviously, I'm going to have spawns for this current hill as they've absolutely taken this one under their own reign. And Pina's going to be able to fire some shots. Not able to clean that player up. Another right. kinetic armor coming There's in. Clink trying to hold this one down. Able to drop one. Player off to his right. Can he can take this player down as well? Trying to stay alive as Broken Alliance holding on to their lead as they end up losing that gunfight. Gamma. Trying to hold this one down, and like I said, Wise always trying to bring this one back. They haven't had the lead yet until this game, and this is definitely an opportunity where they could at least get a little bit closer, but they end up falling as it is going to be Broken Alliance yet again who take control of the hill. My boy BP right now, <laughs> just shredding in this game. 13 and 8, a nice break there to get the rest of that scrap time for his team. They've got a full one minute lead, and Honestly, right now, Landon, if you can kind of break down the gameplay of Wise, what's not working out for them? I mean, they're kind of holding their own in the slang department, just the time in the hill not working towards them. Yeah, I mean, we've seen them have some good moments. I mean, they've always tried to be on that rotation as well. Obviously, in Black Ops 3, rotations mean even more. I mean, normally in Advanced Warfare, you rotate around five, six seconds, you're good off. I mean, yeah. you're pretty good off. But we see teams rotate a maximum of like 25 seconds, which is absolutely insane, you know, kind of coming from Advanced Warfare. But in Black Ops 3, those rotations so important. As we're going to see Wise holding down a little bit of control. Mystic trying to hold this one down here. Look at the flank coming door. in. As it looks like we might see actually a little bit of a pinch coming in. Bean firing some shots with the AR as well. He's going to clean up one. Can he find the second? No, he's going to drop. Please, it, though, is able to clean him up there as well. And that purifier getting ready to see an oven get ready to happen here. Oh, God, this is going to be a massacre. Whoever tries charging in this back door, he somehow is able to stay alive momentarily. But the shots do wind up coming in. What was a 60-second lead, now down to 36, but it does look like Broken Alliance will clear out the hard point. Grab the scrap time, and through the first rotation of Hills, they've really commanded this game. You can see everyone getting involved in the objective department on either team. You just need to see Wise do a better job of rotating early, which they've done, but locking down the hard point is key. So far, yes, they've rotated early, but they've only got it for about 10, 15 seconds. They need to hold off this first few waves. You can see Magsy coming in there. He's not able to get too much done with the heat wave. BP now has that sight as well. Heat falls. Wise, they're do they've done a great job of trying to keep themselves in. They just now need to lock this one down for the next 20 seconds. Yeah, back and forth right now, just in general of score. Gamma able to find a nice kill there as two go down for Broken Alliance. They've done a really good job of just holding down this middle box. It's so important for them to make sure the game is Whoa, not reaching no. a massive comeback. Oh, no. And a 360 turn there from Gamma as he ends up dropping, but still a fantastic play out of Wise. As it is currently, Broken Alliance trying to bring this one back. Why is going to be grabbing these last couple of seconds most likely? Got to keep in mind that rotation going to be so important over to Shaq. And it looks like Mystic going to be going here through AC stairs. Most likely try to get that spawn so, so important as these gunfights going to mean so much if Wise have brought it back. Less than a 10-point lead currently for Broken Alliance. We got a game, boys and girls, as Wise have brought it back within five. The entry to the hard point doesn't work out in their favor, though. Would love to see that Scythe actually save for the next hard point yeah. on bottom lobby. You know, you have that player sit top broken or top AC, whichever side you're holding down, and he's the per person that watches top middle. Kind of eliminates a lot of areas where your players in the hard point have to look. Right now, they're, they actually are pushing in the back of the map, and they have no clue that BP is back there wreaking havoc. They've still got the spawns as well. Broken Alliance really showing just how much better they are on this hard point. As this has been the one that's really given them the lead so far in this game. This is a perfect God, shot right now shredding. for Broken Alliance. Two players. There's the back two in the hill, both with subs, and this is going to be basically insult to injury as they're the trying streaks. to bring this one back. And they, they, like you said, they got streaks, they got specialists. I mean, all this time is so big for them, and basically everything kind of going in their favor as well as one player enters in. But Clint is going to be there wow. for the trade, drops two, and, and that's just been that's just been the slang for them this entire game. I mean, while they have got a little bit of a comeback against them, you know, Wise has brought it back here and here and there, but. Just in the end, you know, the overall slaying, the SMG play for them has been absolutely fantastic. Now, I think one thing to point out really was, I mentioned that was Wise's opportunity to continue to come back, maybe take their first lead of the game. Instead, Broken Alliance do a fantastic job of not only holding the spawn, but their AR players just didn't lose a single gunfight towards top construction. Now, though, they try to go back for the break of their own. One kill in their favor, make it two as BP is taking this game into his own hands. The Heat Wave getting used by Magsy yet again. It's DJAX last alive. He falls, and just like that, Broken Alliance do what they've done the entire game to Wise. They let them rotate early. Great, congratulations. You got there first, but we're going to beat you in our gunfights. We're going to use our specialist spread better to break the hard point. Wise. 
able to get control of it momentarily, but BA still have a full 50 second lead. I think it was a good point you mentioned, uh, you know, mentioned about uh, about Broken Alliance. In fact, I mean, they feel pretty confident right now. I mean, you know, they're not in the best situation. They're obviously up by a pretty good lead, but they feel pretty confident. They have no issue letting them have, I mean, maybe even those rotations. Just grabbing key seconds is what they are really kind of, you know, curious about and really wanting to kind of pull off. But it is wise. D-Jax grabbing the last couple of seconds of scrap time. Can they bring this one back? Well, or is Broken Alliance going to walk away with it? They're set up perfectly, basically. As I believe, actually, I thought it was, but BP going to be rocking that AR, gets one kill. Able to find another, possibly great shots, but it's just not going to go down. Mystic finishes him off as we see Wise try to bring this one back yet again. Now, what's big on this hard point, look at how far out the opponents are spawning all the way in bottom lab. This is Wise's chance to take the lead in this game. They've got the scythe ready still on Mystic. He's not going to wind up calling that one in as of yet. Now the pinch comes in from two different areas. He wins one gunfight, the second challenge. Winds up following up, and Mystic gets another two piece. He's got one to his left, but there's the help from Rays of Gamma. Yeah. Wise, though, do they have any idea that it's coming in from the flank? Jitter is watching bottom broken. Mystic still inside the hard point, and Clink falls off the map. That's four dead again. Wise take the lead. Broken Alliance just couldn't get a break on that hard point. And what is the first lead of this game for Wise? They're going to rotate as well. The kills wow. continuing to stream in their favor. It's a combined 11 kill streak between the team. What a turn of events as Broken Alliance have just been completely shut Look down. At Mystic. Look at Mystic. He's on the flank. He finds oh one there as well. Teammate takes out the second. This God. is automatically turned around for Wise as they are only about 14 seconds away from Mystic. a possible game one victory. He's also going to call him that this is threatening it. strike. And this, is, this could be the end of the game right now. This is a last second push from Broken Alliance. Please, uh, going to be in the back. And it looks He's like got a break right now. It's going to last. No game. way. Wise wind up running away with the last 90 seconds of gameplay. And there's the hype, hype in man. the booth. I mean, I'd be hyped if I were them as well. Mystic just took over that game, a seven streak. You can see the let's go being yelled. Obviously, these up and coming players so hyped to be on the main stage for uh, I would assume is their first time oh, being yeah. up here on a stage like this. There's the Annihilator kill to finish out that game, but Landon. We saw Broken Alliance really leading the charge in that oh, yeah. entire game, and then Wise have a perfect hold on that green hard point. I think it really comes down to the setup they had. Really, they had someone watching bottom broken. When the opposing team spawned at that back AC vent, they were ready for it. They had their AR watching. Clink fell off the map. The rest of his teammates died. And then on the rotation, Wise recognized that Broken Alliance weren't going to come back. They sent three players over to bottom lab, and they broke it with ease. Heads up play from them to be able to clutch up in map one. Yeah, and at the beginning of the game, we were seeing Wise, you know, only grab like maybe some scrap seconds here and there. You know, it wasn't really that much of a, of a massive surprise. And you can kind of see the beginning lead that broken, or excuse me, for Broken Alliance really had in the beginning. And it just kind of slowly after time kind of withered away after so many seconds. But it was in the end. Wise Gaming, who did bring it back. So much time in Greenhouse. And we've kind of talked about from series to series, we saw Team Liquid have a massive, uh, you know, kind of control. Or a really good setup, I guess you could say, in that last series. And it just goes to show how important Greenhouse is and massive lead can kind of arise from it and also a little bit of a comeback. Oh, definitely. And, I mean, talk about a momentum swing there for Wise as they came back in that one. I mean, they were down by a minute and a half at one point. Crazy stuff, though, to see them kind of keep their composure, even on the biggest stage, and come back in that game. As long as these players are ready to go, I think we've already got a map two ready to be queued up. And I mean, talk about a surprising performance at the end there. They didn't even need to use the scythe no. to win that game. Wise come back on Broken Alliance, and now they're one map away from moving on in the winner's bracket. They are, and honestly, like if, if we see uh, as close of a game as we did in this next upload that's getting ready to come up, I mean, we're, we're basically expecting a, you know, a game three, which I obviously told you before we started. I yeah. want to see a surge and destroy. I want to see at least one game three happen on day one, and I think this is the series that could possibly kind of propel that. Well, we will get this match started for you right underway. Let's get the, uh, the map started up. Go ahead and click the A button there. Well, not the A button. Well, the X button, really, <laughs> um, as, uh, on your controller. I'm thinking back to, uh, oh, back out of this one. He's not, uh, one player's not ready uh, to, to join it up. So Broken Alliance still getting things set. Yeah, got to kind of regain after that, fir after that first map. Yeah, I mean, realistically, if you lose a lead like that, I mean, I mean in the booth, you're probably like, oh, he almost had that one. But yeah. it's, it, I think you can kind of take it one of, one of two ways. I mean, you could really be really hyped that we were at least had a lead at one point, but you also have to look at it and say, you know, coming to this next game, how can we make sure that doesn't happen again? You know, we have a massive lead. We lose it. You know, you come to this next game strong, or do you come to this next game a little bit disappointed that we, you know, in some ways kind of choked a little bit? I mean, if you look at kind of how that first map went, it was Wise who would get to the hard point, and they did a great job of rotating, really. Yeah. They even showed that on that last hill to win them the game. But what was the difference was they actually held it down, right? They, yeah. they, they got there, they locked it down, they got the spawns they needed, they took down the players who got the spawns near them. But it does look like we have to kind of get one thing solved here on the main yeah. stage. What we're going to do is go to a very quick break when we come back. Map.